our uh, our homework topic. What's the worst purchase you ever made? Interesting. Big and small. We've all done it. Yeah, of course. You got so excited about whatever it was. I mean, hopefully you're not buying something knowing that it's going to suck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if anybody would do that. Yeah. That somebody, wasn't the plan. Some of the examples uh, that we brought up, somebody paid a website 10 bucks for secrets on how to become a millionaire. <laughs> okay. And they end up getting this PDF file with instructions on how to build a website. Oh, that's right. And then charge people 10 bucks for secrets on how to become a millionaire. <laughs> that's hilarious. And Greg's brought that up before. Like, if you had all these secrets about how to, you know, win in real win estate it, or right, whatever, or slot machines or whatever, yeah, why would you? First thing I have to do is tell the world my secret. Yeah. Right. Now, if they Give did it for free, they'd be an idiot. But I guess if they're if they're charging you for it, that's how they're making their money. Then, then they make their money that way. Exactly. I, I do know some people who are really successful in business and. They keep very few secrets. They tell people exactly what they do and how they mm-hmm. do it and everything else. It's the opposite of the game is to be sold and not told. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, they just give it out because, and people go, well, aren't you worried about it? It's like, no, because I can give out step-by-step blueprint instructions on how to do whatever it is, and almost nobody will even try yeah, to do it. Yeah, because it's so much yeah. And the people who try to do it, Three quarters of those will drop out because yeah. it's too hard or it's too much work. They want yeah. the people who buy that kind of stuff want the easy way, right, of definitely. Course. And they're of not course. ever going to do the things, even if you're giving away all your quote secrets. They're never going to do all the things that you put in your PDF, right? <laughs> of how to get rich. Yeah, I, there was a thing that I was just reading about podcasts where I guess there's two million podcasts available, right? In yeah. the Apple Podcasts, and five hundred thousand of them only have one episode because people are oh, just. Yeah. They're like, oh, work. this is too much work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't want to do this. I got to prep this, record <laughs> yeah. this, I got to edit, edit it, this. I got to upload it. And yeah. you just think it's super easy. Yeah. So I, I once spent $15 on a DoorDash order for ice cream. Done that. Oh, yeah. Oh, done yeah. Done and exactly. it's to spend way more than that yeah. on ice cream. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so expensive. With all the fees and everything. Was it always? Did it get more expensive or was it always this know. way? I, just, I don't remember it always being I this feel, expensive. I think, feel like very sneakily. They've been raising the fees and raising the fees. Yeah, and DoorDash yeah. for sure. Uh, text here, 484 says, worst purchase I ever made. I cashed in a $2,500 um, $2, vacation fund to buy an engagement ring. The engagement lasted four months, and then I found out she was cheating on me. Oh, no. Ouch. Did she keep the ring? Because that's tacky. I hope not. Yeah. She should have given that back. Please tell me she did. Like, if you cheated, she should keep the ring. But the fact that she cheated, she's the one that ruined it. Right. She should give that ring back. That's always the thing that comes up. Like it is, but didn't are you they, supposed to return it? Didn't a judge determine that those are gifts and that you can't? No, I know. But I'm saying they don't have to. You don't, yeah, you don't. I mean, have I guess to. legally you don't, but I mean morally, you should. Yeah, morally. And it's just like, an engagement. Not you're not married yet, so that's a promise to marry them. And if you're not going to do it, you give the ring back. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it, I mean, unless you're just a whore. Yeah. <laughs> she seems like a classy unless person she already. Cashed it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone said they bought a pool table. For their house, played once, never played again. Oh it takes up God. so much space, heavy to move, can't get rid of it. That's fun. I've heard people say that before too. They think it'd be cool. A lot it would, of pool table regrets. It'll look cool, and it would be fun. You know, whatever. I'm and play it, it all the time. How much do you really play? I don't know. I would not yeah. want to have one. Gym memberships always a big waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about for that. ninety plus percent of people. I, I totally. Yeah. There are the 10% out there it makes sense for. Because even other people who are into working out, that you have like a gym at their house and they're right. really into it. Right. But a gym membership. Oh, I paid for one for years that I never went to. Yeah. Somebody also brought up. Years? Uh, years. They spent $600 buying virtual stuff in a virtual reality game. Oh, they were no. so addicted to. I get it. Yeah, uh, people do it. Greg's done it. I've yeah, done it. I bought chips I bought yeah. for chips slots for, games. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what's the worst purchase you've ever no made? Eight seven seven forty four one. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> yeah, what was that again? It was uh, so you're playing a virtual slot machine. You don't win any. You win nah. nothing. Okay, but then to get more credits, he spent actual money. Oh, absolutely. To and get more credits for a virtual slot machine where he got nothing, nothing in return. That, I did it recently. I've done I'm it. Still doing it. You guys need to be committed. <laughs> I'm so. He loves a- Jackpot Party Casino. Beyond addicted. I get it, but you don't get anything out no. of it. There's no, no just, prize. There's no, no prize. You can't get real life yeah. stuff. Nothing. At least with that, like my Vegas one you version, sort of you can actually you cash get, it in for stuff. Yeah, you can get rewards. You can get like a buffet pass or something. Right, that seems very un-Greg. Doesn't it? I know. It is weird. 
It is weird. It's Seems such a yeah. waste. Uh, what about you, Rave? I think probably the worst purchase ever was an early generation Microsoft Surface. Like, that thing never worked. It was just a pain in my ass. I hated it so much that probably after giving it a college try, like a month or two, took it out in the driveway. Oh, that's why you smashed remember, it. Remember, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. it up over my head. I smashed it. Her rage. And then for good measure, took the hammer. Yeah, and then yeah, I was yeah. just <laughs> hammering it and hammering it. You had to make sure it was dead. I hated yeah. that thing so much, but it was so satisfying. To that was just the first generation. Because I've got like... Uh, one I bought uh, like a much, couple years I, ago. I believe they're much better now. Yeah, yeah. I bought one a couple years early. ago. And it's great. Yeah, really. Yeah, that just for like was, on the go. Yeah, you know, like uh, yeah, yeah, without bringing like a whole laptop and right. that yeah. was the intention there. Yeah, but it sucked. Yeah, it was the bugs <laughs> were not worked out of this thing. Taking a computer out of your backyard and smashing it—that's yeah. normal. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, it felt so good. Uh, worst purchase: IVF. I had to pay to have a baby. What was oh. I thinking? I love her to death, but being a parent sucks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty stupid. Uh, I purchased a $10,000 timeshare. cost $6,000 to get out of it. Never God. used it once. How dumb. Wow. Dude. Uh, this one says, I spent 500 bucks on a Stormtrooper guitar. <laughs> it's a really cool design, mm. but I played it one time for five minutes and I haven't touched it for five years. <laughs> Uh, I spent over five grand in 2014 on party drugs, only to have nerve damage now. Oh yeah. no, it's oh, good. But you had a good time, right? Yeah, but but 2014 a, uh, raging. Bought a thirty thousand dollars side by side UTV. Oh heck yeah! That sits in my garage. I have no time to use it. Give it to me. I'll take uh, it. Used it five times in two years. Six hundred dollar <laughs> monthly payment. <laughs> Six hundred oh month. God. Oh my god. Yeah. Another one says I uh, spent thirty six thousand dollars on a Ford Harley Davidson F one fifty when I turned eighteen instead of investing Sweet. in my future. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that was a badass truck, though. Yeah, that was a. That <laughs> yeah, was a you were the baddest truck. ass eighteen year old. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go to uh, Chris. Hey, good morning, Chris. Chris. Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning. All right, so what was your dumb purchase? Worst purchase you ever made? Sure. So when I was 18, I was in the Marines stationed out in California, first time away from home. And right as I lo- um, leave the PX, the post exchange, there's this guy selling these embroidered family crest things. And they look really <laughs> cool. They're in nice frames and all that. Sure. They were like $450, $500. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So I go up to him, talk to him, <laughs> ask zero background questions. Just says, what's your, your last name and your mom's maiden name? I give it to him, and they just send me these dumb crests that look awful that I have no idea if they connect to my history at all. <laughs> and they've been sitting in a box since I was 18 years old. Yep. That's How much like did you spend on that? Money down the drain. They were like 400, 400 wow. 500 bucks. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like buying a star. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was exactly sad. right. And they, fu- and they knew their. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And they knew what? Yeah, I was saying they knew their target audience because they had this set up right with a bunch of like 17, 18, 19 year old guys that just got out of boot camp. Yeah. And are yep. willing to just blow money like crazy. Yep. All right, Chris, thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. That sounds like something right. an 18 year old would not be into. They must have ran out of stars because I've not heard. <laughs> Anything? The Star Registry they, commercials. The Star Registry so out. went out yeah. of business. You, know, yeah, they must have ran out of stars. Because you remember listening out. and you hear, like, you can uh, buy a star and have it named after someone for, like, their birthday or whatever. Yeah. They, and uh, I've always wondered, like, how is that How is that just obviously not a scam? And maybe that's what it was. Maybe it's like somebody finally took them to court. Possibly. No, it's still you know? there. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Star Registry? The inter- is it the Name international a star, star today. Oh. <laughs> com. <laughs> yeah, like somebody. Did you do that for somebody, Gregor? Somebody they, did, did it, it for me. You? And so, Gregor's like, "Oh, babe, oh, babe." There is a star out in the universe that is named after me, officially, yep. or is it just in like the? Oh, it's official in the scammers' yeah, logbook. It's official. I know you guys are jealous <laughs> yeah. that you don't have Mega a star. Mega gel. Hell, yeah. it, it's you. not like NASA's ever going to go buy and that star and go, "Oh, the Greg Gore." Oh, oh, the Greg Gore yeah. star. It's registered with NASA. It right. is. Yeah, they're not allowed to go to it. Uh, no, but if it is registered in NASA no, I season, think I think that's NASA. legit. But if you go to the Star Registry website, they do have like uh, Better Business Bureau, like Bureau, <laughs> bureau uh, <laughs> symbol on there to let you know it's oh, legit. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. really? Well, yeah. good. Cool. All right, who could put that on a website? And, yeah. And randomly. Well, like, well, if it is the Better <laughs> Business Bureau, bureau yeah. uh, that's. 
Yeah, it's close. They, Anybody can do that. They thing. also <laughs> randomly have a picture of Princess Diana on their website. Oh, oh that's okay. not sweet. So Look, that's cool. see? Yeah, that's so random. So they're hitting all the right buttons. <laughs> so is it, what's the worst purchase you've ever made, big or small? On Facebook, Dave says clothing that I would need to lose weight in order to wear. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Still hold on to that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Sarah says an inflatable water slide. I got it for my kid's birthday party. Thought we'd reuse it all summer, but we used it one time. It sat in the garage collecting dust. <laughs> so much work to inflate and set up in the heat. And I was like, forget it. I threw F it away last this. year. Oh, no. So one use, $179. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lily says a steam cleaner. I swore I was going to go around the, around the house cleaning tile grout and the whole bathroom. <laughs> yeah. It has sat in the corner for over two years now. Never used. Damn. I mean, Greg would. <laughs> I would probably use it. Uh, I bought one of those, like, drill bit attachments for cleaning tiles. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's all right. Yeah. So what, 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 work, what, what is yours? That's okay. Worst purchase. Ravy's story reminded me. Menace had this computer. Remember that blue computer you always had? Yeah, oh, the HP. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I should do that instead of taking my laptop home every day. Just have one sitting at my desk at home. For work stuff, I used it, I think, once, and then put it in the closet and never use it again. Oh, really? Oh, wow. And then I just bring my laptop just everywhere. Just easier to yeah. just yeah. bring your laptop So home. much easier. Yeah. yeah. And then recently, this, quote, waterproof uh, sensor door lock with, like, a keypad on it mm -hmm. for my side gate. Yeah. And after one rain, one rain completely broken. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Completely broken. Those Sorry. things aren't meant to be used outside. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, wait. Exactly. Yeah. So That's it, weird. It said it was waterproof. But got a, a different one. Hopefully this one works. Uh, Ryan on Facebook, I want to say the Area 51 sand that I bought. <laughs> what? <laughs> sand That's from Area cool. 51. I bet, your, I bet your board's got some of that. Maybe. Board's Maybe. been to Area 51 couple times why he loves all that why stuff why would you want sand he bought all that like alien parking signs oh, right. uh -huh. See, that's fun. jerky it's, that's fun it's not sand mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh menace uh well i said that i bought that turntable off ebay and it was right. terrible but i was thinking more about it and when i first got my big radio job i bought a used ml 430 <laughs> mercedes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and I was on a long road trip and there was a recall on a thing called the harmonic balancer and it like blew and I was in the middle of the desert oh. and it was hot as ish and I had to take like a four hour car ride. But you were stranded in a Mercedes. So yeah, in a Mercedes. It's fancy. So who cares? And then, uh, yeah, and who cares? And then <laughs> I got towed back and I think like probably four or five months later, like the power steering went out. Like it <laughs> oh, was great. nothing. It was just like. It bills on top of bills. It was yeah. just such a waste of money. Yeah, and you could barely afford the car to begin with, and then those repairs on those cars are oh, crazy expensive. Dude, minimum upkeep, like and, a thousand bucks every time yeah. you took it in. They're not the best on oh. gas. Any of those, you know, no. BMW, and Mercedes. I'm looking at this ML. It looks like a minivan, <laughs> essentially. The kind of like round and bubbly. Yeah, I well, mean, it's it makes like a yeah. great home. early two thousands. Well, yeah. at least you had it to live in. See, right. yeah. that's what's yours. Uh, house in the ghetto. That was a bad move. I, <laughs> I may have only told, it's been years since I told this story, but I was part of the housing bubble. I had gotten a home. I had gotten like a big, same thing. I would gotten a big check, mm -hmm. Menace. And I said, mm -hmm. well, I want to be a real estate investor. <laughs> 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 I found this yeah. guy and it was the house. The, val the valuation was like $105,000. But I said, well, we'll get it for like five Gs. So, oh, nice. You know, that nice low down payment. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? And, it, but it, and I didn't really realize what neighborhood was A renaissance was in. Uh, yeah. neighborhood, yeah. right? I drove in and I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Nice little starter home. I'll make you know, rent it out. No, it was in the hood. Uh, the uh, AC unit got stolen three times. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Which, nice. again, super cheap to replace that. Heck, yeah. yeah. Uh, and to the, po the point where I, uh, I got went to Home Depot, got some like shrubbery for the front yard. That got stolen out of the ground. Oh, my God. <laughs> so oh, I it to the ground. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't living in the house. I wasn't right. there to, like, yeah. think, right. obviously yeah. the people in the neighborhood picked up on that <laughs> real quick. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so eventually uh, foreclosure, uh, you know, that's me. that was me, part of the bubble. Damn. Wow. Too big to fail. That's Not see crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Sammy? I was getting blinds for my house, and I was so excited. I measured all of the windows, so I'm getting brand new blinds for oh, all of the windows. Oh, you did the measurements yourself? I did. No, the measurements came out great. It okay. was perfect. And they all warped from the heat from the sun. Oh, yeah. So then they were oh, all yeah. bent and warped. Yeah. And I'm like, that's your whole job. Cheap. Is wow. to sit in front of the heat and the sun. Yeah. yeah and they all and warped. Block and set. Yeah. There's the, because there's some that look like uh, wood blinds, yep. but they're not real wood. It's right. that hybrid material. And that yeah. stuff will warp. Yeah. I didn't like, know that. You can get like faux wood stuff, but you have to get like the higher end stuff so it doesn't do that. 
So people go with the cheaper because they want the look, but they don't want the cost of the right. higher end yeah. ones. And that's what ends up happening. The middle of them just all droop. And oh. I still droop, 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 spent droop. a lot of money because for all oh, the yeah. windows in the house, it's, it's never still cheap. expensive. Dude, yeah. sure. it's never Stupid cheap. money. Uh, let's see. Ashley says, I paid $120 for the delivery service just to come screw the feet onto a new couch. So, <laughs> all right. I just do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Wendy says, those coolers that you wear around your neck, $30, it's just a fan, not refrigerated. Well, what do you think? There was like a compressor. And like I a- saw a ton of those at Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, my friend yeah? was just telling me about that over the weekend because he had one. He was um, he the was out somewhere. Fan? And I'm like, does that work? Because, man, I hate being mm-hmm. hot. Mm-hmm. Sure. But I figured like, oh, maybe for vacation when I'm out on the beach. I'll just have a fan <laughs> you know, around have, my neck. I'll have one of those things around right your neck. And he swears by it. He, he likes it. But. Okay. All right, here's uh, one of the calls we got in the After Hours voicemail. I'm going to play the first part, and then you're going to guess what he spent the money on. Yeah, hey, Woody Show. So I spent just over $1,000. All right. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, nice. Could be anything. Uh, yeah, let's take a wild <laughs> guess. I figured like, you might want uh, to use like, the, uh, the tone, the voice. Uh, Stri- uh, yeah, like strippers? First, first impression kind of thing. He's okay. a guy, so like yeah. strippers. <laughs> okay. Only fans. Only fans. I'm, go with, uh, oh. a di- I'm diamond. You know those diamond tooth things are so popular these yeah. days. You put a little jewel in your turn. Oh, Ooh. hang yeah. Classy. Sammy, any guesses? Sunglasses. I was, was going to say sunglasses. $1,000 on sunglasses. All right, let's find out. Yeah, hey, Woody Show. So I spent just over $1,000 on a sex doll. It was a very <laughs> elaborate silicone doll. Damn thing weighed more than I did. And it took too much work to even maneuver it to be usable. So I used it like three times and then ended up throwing it away. It's so convenient just to start joking, you know? Anyway, bye. So convenient. <laughs> okay, <laughs> terrific. All right. Sorry, sex doll. Convenient. Yeah. Need- Super convenient. Yeah, that's a question I always want to ask sex doll guys is, what is are you are you kissing it? Yeah, yeah, how does this... I that- used it three times. And I think he means used her, not it. Thank it. you. Yeah, yes. thank you. Jerry, yeah, thank you. What, what is this $1,000 sex oh, doll I've look like? We, I, oh, I've found those away. things. Yeah, yeah the real the, dolls. Yeah, right? the sex conventions. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought those were like... Thousands, not a thousand. Well, this so, is the low end one, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's the low well, end? One? It doesn't have just... the it doesn't have the built in washout. Yeah, getting <laughs> like uh, some of the nicer ones do. You, know? you can buy little ones that are just torsos. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that one's dishwasher. Say, you know, it's probably not. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the ones I'm seeing that are like seven grand.